Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to fix your instant pod, multi-pod, single brew coffee maker and espresso maker. This is the two-in-one machine by Instant Pod. It does K-cups and espresso pods. So I'm going to show you how to clean the needles with a paper clip. Preferably you need like a, a metal paper clip that doesn't have the plastic on it. First thing, unplug the machine. We're going to lift this up. Now this can be hot, so let it cool down for a little bit but I'm going to show you how to remove the bottom needle and then we're going to clean the top one. So this little basket comes out and there's a needle in the bottom, so be careful. So here's that lower needle. We can come in from the bottom. So take this over to your sink and as you're running the paper clip through the needle, give that a good uh, rinse. Run a bunch of water through here. Get a brush. This will get all kinds of, of coffee crud in there. So brush all this out. Get this all nice and clean. And then we're ready to reinstall this. So once in a while I have found that I need to clean down in here, but it's a little tricky. If you've got like a, um, a straw cleaner or something, like a pipe cleaner that's really flexible, sometimes you can get down in there because the coffee's gonna go from there down to there. I'm gonna show you how to clean that next um, after we do the top needle. If it's starting to spray out different ways, there's a way we can clean that too. So now let's reinstall this. The needle points towards the hinge. And it only it has to go all the way in like that. Don't it won't go in any other way, just like that. And so when you close the lid, you're not having to force it. Now let's do the top needle. So unfortunately, the top needle only has a hole going side to side like this. I really wish we need to get up in there, which can be really hard. There is no other hole that goes up. But what you can do is get a paper clip and ever so gently, don't break anything, you can kind of give it a little edge, a little curve, and then you, you can go up in there just a little bit further. Don't force it. There's a plastic tube on the other end there. We could break it. And once you're up in there, just kind of rock it back and forth a little bit. Kind of go from the other side because we need to go up. That's where the main blockage usually is from coffee grounds is up. Going left to right is, is pretty simple. That's pretty simple to clean that out really good. Rock it back and forth. We can get that really clean. So once in a while, I do need to clean this port right here. So we got to take the keep it unplugged. Take the water reservoir off. Take this cup holder out that's got the pods in there. And take your drip tray off. We're going to flip it upside down. Okay, I laid it on its side. There's those, those four little pie-shaped openings. They can get some crud in there too. And this is where a pipe cleaner comes in handy too. You can kind of go up a little further. Clean that out nice and good. These are also the clean straws. So you can go up a little bit further with those, but don't get it stuck. I have not found a way to remove that piece yet. So now if you have a jammed pod, you can, you can open this and it might be jammed in like this way, like right in here on the Nespresso side, but this can be very hard to get unjammed on the Nespresso side. Sometimes those metal pods do get kind of uh, bound up in there. Make sure your, your tray is empty because if they're not able to fall into the tray, they can get jammed up that way. So if you haven't, it does have a little window on there. It's supposed to show you how many pods are in there. So make sure that those are empty. And again, with it on its side, you can sort of see up in there. You might be able to go up in this way to get that jammed pod out, like right there. So be careful. There are sharp things up there but you might be able to get it that way. Again, the machine is unplugged and the water reservoir is off. Okay, once you're all done, put it back together. We're not gonna put any pot in either side. Close the lid. I got it plugged in, turn it on. We're gonna do some fresh water rinses. So on the Nespresso side, just hit the two ounce button and it should run, whoops. It should run two ounces through and come and kind of clean out any crud that we kind of unlodged in there. Then we're also going to do it on the, the cake up side. You might have to go back and forth on the cake up side. I have had to clean the needle, do a, a fresh water rinse, go back in, clean the needle, do a fresh water rinse. I've had to do that three times before in order to get that needle unclogged. Okay, so let's do the again, leave, make sure there's no cake up in here. Just do an eight ounce rinse. That's going to be really hot water coming out. These are good to do anyway. Once I do, I try to do a fresh water rinse once a week. It just kind of keeps, keeps the needles clean, keeps that whole area clean. There's how the water should be coming out. I also have another video on how to descale. So if your 10 and 12 ounce buttons are flashing, that means it's time to descale with vinegar. 
check out that video because I'll show you how to descale it. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.